Story 1 In the picturesque coastal town of Aquamar, an aging and beloved oceanarium named Aquasphere stood as a beacon of marine wonder for decades. However, as time cast a wearisome shadow on this once thriving haven, the caretakers, including the experienced diver Ryan Davis, recognized the pressing need to relocate its marine residents. Ryan, renowned for his deep-seated passion for aquatic life, was at the helm of this ambitious endeavor. The aging infrastructure and evolving standards for marine conservation prompted the decision to transfer these sea creatures to more advanced facilities offering better habitats. The team's work at Aquasphere held profound meaning. It wasn't merely a relocation, it was a rescue mission. It aimed to preserve these creatures and provide them with environments better suited to their needs and well-being. The operation was a meticulous dance of compassion and expertise, ensuring each inhabitant was handled carefully and precisely. From majestic sea turtles to vibrant schools of fish, each resident of Aquasphere was meticulously assessed and prepared for a new chapter in their lives. The team's devotion to this endeavor was rooted in a profound responsibility towards these creatures. They saw it as an opportunity to safeguard and enhance the lives of these marine residents, ensuring their safety and comfort in their new homes. Yet amid this noble undertaking, the unforeseen encounter with a startled stingray turned a mission of care and relocation into a devastating and unexpected tragedy. The incident was a stark reminder of the unpredictability and risks inherent in working closely with wildlife, even in pursuing their well-being. The untimely turn of events at Aquasphere was a logistical challenge and a profound emotional setback for the entire team. The abrupt turn of events in October 2002 deeply affected the planned relocation and the spirits of the dedicated team members, leaving them grappling with the unexpected loss and re-evaluating their approach in the journey to protect and preserve marine life. On a balmy afternoon, as the team meticulously orchestrated the transfer preparations, an unforeseen startle prompted a nearby stingray to react in self-defense. The ripple of events that followed the stingray's startled reaction spun the situation into an unexpected crisis. Ryan, engrossed in ensuring the smooth transition, found himself inadvertently in the path of the agitated stingray. In a moment that seemed to pause time, the stingray's swift reaction caught Ryan off guard. The creature, feeling threatened, responded instinctively. Its barb, a natural defense mechanism, made unintended contact with Ryan, causing a grave injury. The event unfolded swiftly, leaving the team stunned and reeling from the unexpected events. Efforts to immediately tend to Ryan and mitigate the injury were paramount. Swift actions ensued. The team rushed to administer first aid, staunching the bleeding and calling for emergency medical support. The atmosphere, which was previously alive with meticulous movements and careful coordination, shifted abruptly to one of urgency and concern. Despite the immediate and vigilant efforts of the team to aid their colleague, the injury proved severe prompting an urgent transfer to the nearest medical facility. The gravity of this situation weighed heavily on the team. Their unity and resolve were shaken by the sudden turn of events. Amidst the flurry of activities, the atmosphere was tinged with a shared sense of disbelief and urgency, echoing their devotion and concern for their colleague. The situation rapidly evolved, shifting the day's focus from marine relocation to the safety and well-being of a valued team member. The incident served as a stark reminder of the inherent risks involved in working closely with wildlife, even in the most carefully managed and well-intentioned scenarios. It left the team grappling not only with the practical challenges of their mission, but also with a profound reassessment of the unpredictable nature of their work and the constant need for vigilant safety measures. As the team worked diligently to navigate this unexpected turn, the underlying ethos of their mission, rooted in care and dedication to the creatures they so passionately served, became an anchor amid the unforeseen crisis. Their unwavering commitment to their colleagues' well-being and the ethical responsibility toward the marine life they safeguarded remained steadfast, serving as a guiding force during this unforeseen and challenging moment. 
The injury, while severe, was intricately managed by the skilled medical team. Despite the complex nature of the Stingray's defense mechanism, the medical professionals coordinated their efforts to alleviate the immediate effects, alleviating the toxic impact of the venomous sting. The comprehensive care provided was a testament to the swift and efficient response by the medical team, highlighting their dedication to ensuring Ryan's recovery. In the wake of this unusual incident, the authorities conducted a comprehensive evaluation delving into the circumstances that led to the unforeseen reaction of the stingray. The marine experts and wildlife authorities proactively scrutinized the incident to understand the underlying causes of the stingray's defensive reaction. Understanding these marine creatures' environmental dynamics and behavior became pivotal in preventing such incidents in the future. The shared understanding emerged that the stingray's unexpected and regrettable reaction was a response rooted to its instinct for self-defense. These creatures' susceptible nature, environment, and unforeseen triggers that could incite defensive reactions were carefully examined. Insights into the probable factors contributing to such unexpected actions by marine life were systematically reviewed, ensuring a more comprehensive approach to safety measures. Authorities and experts emphasized the importance of maintaining a cautious and vigilant approach when working closely with marine life, especially species like stingrays. The incident served as a poignant reminder of the inherent unpredictability of nature and the imperative need for ongoing, meticulous safety measures and protocols in such endeavors. In the spirit of reassessment and learning from the unexpected events, the team and authorities put forth enhanced safety protocols, providing additional guidelines and precautions for similar operations. These measures sought to bolster the safety and security of both the team members and the marine life they were dedicated to caring for. The circumstances leading to the incident were viewed as a crucial lesson in the intricate balance between human intervention and the inherent nature of marine life. The meticulous review and subsequent reinforcement of safety measures aimed to uphold the team's commitment to ethical marine care while ensuring the well-being and safety of those involved in these endeavors. The experience, while marked by an unforeseen and regrettable incident, catalyzed a reinvigorated commitment to safety, ensuring the coexistence of human endeavors and the sanctity of the marine world. The dedication and resilience of the team amidst this unexpected turn underscored their unwavering commitment to the ethical and responsible care of the creatures they held in guardianship. Story 2 In the calm embrace of a reef named Silver Shore, nestled in the embrace of the great tropic waters, a bustling hub for vibrant marine life, a unique incident unfolded, altering the fate of individuals and echoing across the world. The shimmering waters of Silver Shore off the coastline of Port Harmon became the stage for an extraordinary occurrence on a tranquil day with a unique twist. This marine sanctuary, where the harmonious dance of aquatic life plays out, witnessed a fateful event that changed lives forever. On a typical sun-kissed day, August 19, 2003, Samuel Miller, a seasoned wildlife documentarian embarked on a mission that intertwined his passion and profession. As a revered naturalist, Samuel held an insatiable curiosity for the intricate workings of the underwater world. His dedication and commitment to unraveling the ocean's mysteries had propelled him into the heart of the Silver Shore Sanctuary, where he sought to capture the secrets of the deep. Accompanying Samuel on this marine odyssey was his dedicated colleague, Emma Rivers, an enthusiastic marine biologist driven by a genuine desire to conserve and understand the delicate balance of oceanic ecosystems. Together, they navigated the crystalline waters with a shared purpose and reverence for the underwater realms. Their collaboration aimed not just to document, but also to decode the language of the sea creatures and unravel the enigma that dwelled beneath the shimmering surface. Amid the azure expanse, a rich tapestry of aquatic life thrived. Vibrant corals, darting schools of fish, and elegant stingrays among the critical residents of this thriving underwater community. But their serene yet enigmatic presence, the stingrays glided gracefully through the currents, casting an enchanting silhouette in the ambient light. 
The duo was particularly drawn to studying these remarkable creatures to shed light on their elusive world. The day that had dawned was one of quiet anticipation for Samuel and Emma, filled with the promise of capturing the essence of Stingray's lives in their most candid moments. With their professional lenses poised to document the enchanting underwater ballet, the duo embarked on their submerged exploration, seeking to unravel the untold stories of the ocean's silent guardians. They intended to observe, understand, and portray the beauty and secrets of the creatures that called the Silver Shore home. Samuel and Emma, driven by a shared passion for the ocean and its inhabitants, were set to unlock the cryptic tales of the stingrays. As they ventured deeper into the ethereal depths, the tranquility was palpable, setting the stage for a profound encounter between the inquisitive documentarians and the serene inhabitants of the underwater world. The narrative was poised to unfold, a tale set against the backdrop of the silent yet mesmerizing dance of the stingrays in their aquatic domain. As the duo floated in the gentle currents, observing the dance of the underwater world, a specific stingray caught their attention. It was a majestic creature, its streamlined form gracefully navigating the waters. Drawn to its captivating movements, Samuel sought to document the creature's tranquility and intricate maneuvers. Approaching with a cautious yet inquisitive intent, the duo hoped to depict the tranquility of the stingray's aquatic existence. With skilled precision honed by years of experience, Samuel directed his lens, capturing the mesmerizing movements of the ethereal creature. In that fleeting moment, amid the silence of the ocean, the tranquility shattered. A sudden shift in the otherwise peaceful rhythm of the marine world disrupted the serene scene. The stingray, a symbol of grace and poise, appeared to respond to an unforeseen threat, swiftly changing its demeanor. What unfolded next was a tragic twist, unexpected and sudden. Perhaps perceiving an imminent threat, the tranquil creature unleashed an instinctual response. In a blur of movement, the stingray's tail, equipped with a barb, inadvertently lashed out. The barb, a natural defense mechanism, struck Samuel, causing an unforeseen injury. Shock and pain ensued as the scene transformed from serene observation to sudden distress. Witnessing this unforeseen turn of events, Emma swiftly sprang into action. Amid the swirling chaos, her instincts kicked in, and she immediately sought to assist Samuel. Frantic yet composed, she worked to stabilize her colleague while attempting to seek immediate medical assistance. The sudden events had plunged their underwater escapade into an unforeseen crisis, the tranquility disrupted by an unfortunate and unexpected turn. As Emma grappled with the gravity of the situation, she tirelessly tended to Samuel's needs, desperately striving to ensure his safety and well-being. They urgently made their way toward the surface, propelled by a sense of urgency and apprehension, seeking immediate medical assistance. Swiftly connecting with their team aboard a nearby vessel, they urgently signaled for help. An emergency response was activated, calling upon the assistance of medics equipped to handle such unforeseen aquatic emergencies. The swift response team arrived promptly. Their experience and expertise were pivotal in stabilizing Samuel's condition. It was a race against time, and every second counted as efforts to stabilize him commenced. The situation remained critical with the unforeseen injury needing immediate attention and care. Meanwhile, Emma tirelessly coordinated the emergency response efforts, her composure a testament to her resilience in an unforeseen crisis. The unfolding events demanded her undivided attention, and she persisted to ensuring every step was taken to address the situation. Amid this unforeseen crisis, their narrative had taken a turn. The calm waters of the Silver Shore transformed into a stage for an unexpected and distressing episode. A sense of urgency and concern had replaced the tranquility that once defined their underwater expedition, the peace shattered by the stingray's spontaneous reaction. The marine world, a bastion of serene mysteries, had become a scene of unforeseen drama. At the surface, amid the choppy waves and the urgent cries for aid, the emergency response team swiftly took charge. Samuel's condition was dire, 
the Stingray's swift defensive move had inflicted a severe injury. The injury, a result of the Stingray's barb, posed a critical threat to his well-being. The scene was urgent as the response team navigated the delicate process of stabilizing Samuel's condition. With quick and decisive actions, the team initiated immediate first aid measures. The injury, though not life-threatening, required careful and urgent attention. The barb's penetration had caused substantial trauma, leading to profuse bleeding and immense pain. As Samuel grappled with the excruciating pain, the response team worked diligently to stem the bleeding, applying first aid techniques in a bid to stabilize him before transporting him to a medical facility for further treatment. During the emergency response, Emma stood by, her composure a remarkable display of resilience in the face of adversity. The urgent need for medical care saw Samuel swiftly transported to a nearby medical center equipped to handle aquatic emergencies. The medical team, aware of the intricacies of such injuries, commenced treatment promptly. The injury, though significant, was fortunately not life-threatening. However, it demanded careful and immediate attention. In the wake of this unforeseen event, authorities promptly initiated measures to ensure such incidents were reported and documented. The gravity of the situation warranted a comprehensive review of the event, prompting the concerned authorities to meticulously assess and document the incident. With the well-being and safety of individuals in mind, steps were taken to comprehend and outline the sequence of events that led to the unforeseen injury. As Samuel received medical attention, the authorities closely examined the circumstances that led to the unfortunate incident. The intent was to understand and capture the events unfolding during the aquatic expedition, ensuring a detailed assessment of the sequence that led to the Stingray's defensive reaction. In the aftermath of the incident, safety advisories were imparted, emphasizing the importance of caution and respect while engaging with aquatic life. The incident was a stark reminder of the potential risks of interacting with creatures in their natural habitat. While the situation had been a distressing and unforeseen turn of events, it led to a comprehensive reassessment of safety protocols and measures, ensuring that future explorations would be conducted with a heightened sense of caution and understanding. Samuel's ordeal had inadvertently prompted the re-evaluation of safety guidelines and protocols, ensuring a more informed and cautious approach to similar underwater expeditions in the future. Story 3 In the quiet coastal enclave of Riversdale, nestled along the Wairarapa coast, the ebb and flow of life mirrored the rhythmic dance of the ocean waves. Here, where the sun-kissed sands met the azure embrace of the Tasman Sea, life unfolded in the unhurried cadence of a small, tight-knit community. Our protagonist, Jake Anderson, lived in this idyllic haven. Jake Anderson, a man in his early 30s, was a son of the sea. Born and raised on the family farm that bordered the Wairarapa coast, his life was entwined with the maritime tapestry that painted the horizon. Jake's days were spent tending to the rugged beauty of the farm, a steward of the land that met the ocean's edge. But beyond the pastoral chores, there existed a symbiotic relationship between Jake and the ocean, a realm where he found solace and purpose. With its pristine waters and hidden coves, the Wairarapa coast cradled tales of maritime adventures and the silent ballet of marine life. Stingrays, graceful and elusive, gliding beneath the surface. In the shallow waters of Riversdale, stingrays were not uncommon visitors. Drawn to the warmth of the shore in the languid dance of summer, they navigated the underwater landscape with a serene elegance. The locals, attuned to the seasonal rhythms, had encountered these denizens of the deep on numerous occasions. The stingray, with its distinctive silhouette and gentle movements, was both a symbol of the ocean's mysteries and a reminder of its untamed essence. As Jake embarked on his routine dives, he navigated the undersea terrain with a familiarity born of years spent exploring the hidden nooks and crannies. The stingray, a phantom in the shifting sands, observed the intruder in its watery domain. Unbeknownst to Jake, the stage was set for an unexpected encounter, an event that would unravel beneath the surface of the tranquil Tasman Sea. 
It was a warm day in July 2006, with the sun casting a shimmering path upon the water's surface. Having concluded his tasks on the family farm, Jake donned his diving gear and waded into the sea's embrace. Little did he know that this routine descent would plunge him into the heart of an ancient struggle, a clash between the human realm and the wild poetry of the underwater world. As Jake descended into the azure depths, the Stingray, a silent guardian of the coastal waters, observed his intrusion. The events that unfolded beneath the waves would etch themselves into the annals of Riversdale's history, forever altering the relationship between its inhabitants and the enigmatic creatures lurking in the sea's shadows. In the calm depth of the Tasman Sea, the ocean floor became a stage for an unforeseen drama. Immersed in his underwater sojourn, Jake was oblivious to the silent approach of the Stingray. Unbeknownst to him, the tranquility of the ocean concealed an impending clash between man and marine life. The Stingray, driven by instincts as ancient as the ocean, perceived Jake's presence as an intrusion. A creature of defense, it prepared to safeguard its realm with a swift and decisive response. The Stingray unleashed its serrated spine in a sudden surge, a natural weapon honed by evolution. The underwater currents carried the creature toward Jake with a speed that belied its graceful exterior. As the stingray's spine made contact with Jake's lower leg, the underwater tableau shifted from serenity to chaos. The impact, swift and forceful, left Jake grappling with a pain that surged through his being. True to its defensive nature, the stingray had wielded its weapon with remarkable precision. The underwater skirmish unfolded in a dance of survival. Jake, now acutely aware of the adversary he had unwittingly encountered, struggled against the throbbing pain radiating from the wound. Having delivered its defensive blow, the stingray glided away into the depths, leaving behind a bewildered and injured diver. In the immediate aftermath, the ocean witnessed the struggle for survival. Jake maneuvered toward the surface, his senses heightened by the stingray's unexpected strike. The pain, a testament to the force of the underwater encounter, surged through his leg as he ascended. The underwater world, once a sanctuary, now echoed with the urgency of a battle fought beneath the waves. Upon breaching the surface, Jake's fellow divers, alerted to the abrupt disruption, rushed to his aid. The coastal tranquility was shattered, replaced by a sense of urgency as they assess the situation. The remote location of the incident added complexity to the rescue efforts, requiring swift and decisive action. The decision was made to transport Jake to safety via the Life Flight Westpac rescue helicopter. The chopper, a beacon of hope in the secluded coastal expanse, descended to retrieve the injured diver. The onlookers, both concerned and curious, witnessed the intersection of modern technology and the primal struggle that unfolded in the ocean's embrace. As Jake was airlifted to Wellington Hospital, the echoes of the underwater confrontation reverberated. The Stingray, having fulfilled its instinctual role of defense, retreated to the depths, its presence a reminder of the untamed forces that lurk beneath the seemingly serene surface of the Tasman Sea. Jake, now in the care of Wellington Hospital, confronted the aftermath of his underwater skirmish. The pain, a constant companion, served as a stark reminder of the fine line between the allure of the ocean and the untamed forces that dwelled within. On the journey to the hospital, friends and family bore expressions reflecting concern and bewilderment, their understanding of the ocean's mysteries reshaped by the events of that fateful day. The Department of Conservation's marine expert, Clinton Duffy, offered insights into the defensive nature of rays. As the community sought understanding, Duffy's words underscored the primal instincts that govern marine life. The serrated spine, a product of evolution, had been wielded with a force that defined the tranquil reputation of the stingray. The tale of Jake's underwater confrontation with the stingray became woven into the coastal lore of Riversdale a narrative that transcended the routine narratives of fishing exploits and leisurely dives. It carried an intrinsic message, a call for respect and acknowledgement of the unpredictable nature of the marine realm. 
in the annals of aquatic encounters, where tales of marine life intertwine with human experiences, Riversdale stood witness to a chapter that added depth to its maritime narrative. As the community reflected on the events, the ocean, though unchanged in its vast expanse, now bore the imprint of a confrontation that unfolded in the shadowy embrace of the Tasman Sea.